So, so through God's greatness, you know, Stephen received this great power. So it's like, you know, God just poured it out on him, you know, even though he was just, he just wasn't just, just a deacon. He just had his heart was just, you know, really, you know, even though he was a Jew, he accepted the Christianity, he accepted Jesus. I'm sure he had, a, you know, just a lot of love for the Lord and really wanted to serve him and was really trying his best to, you know, to walk the walk of, of Christ. And the Lord saw that and gave him these, these gifts, you know, just a powerful, powerful gift that he gave. And as it happened with Jesus himself, Stephen soon found difficulty with the local religious authorities too. Not because he was doing anything wrong, but because he was seen, Stephen was seen as a, as a serious and growing threat to their misguided control over the people. They, the, the, uh, the Pharisees and all, they just couldn't compete with him. The scriptures, Acts 6, verse 10 says, they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. So Stephen, you know, he was, he, God, <coughs> God's greatness, he gave him a lot of wisdom, and, 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 and just, you know, the spirit was with him and gave him a touch. And th those, uh, those Pharisees, those local authorities and priests, they just couldn't compete with that. And, and they didn't like Stephen because of that, because they didn't even like Christianity. They wanted to stay under the law and, and do the little sacrifices, and they didn't, they didn't want no part of Jesus. They just wanted to stay under the law and be bound by the law. And so, in, in the next picture, we're going to see. So then, the, the, the these priests and, and this this mob that kind of you know went went before Stephen. You know, they kind of did that low as you can go approach. But you know, they started falsely accusing him of blaspheming and. And um, in this next picture, you can see, you know, where they, you know, laid hands on him, and took him out, and, and, and knowingly doing so, you know, they themselves blasphemed against the Holy Spirit by, you know, accusing Stephen and bringing false witnesses against him, just just like they did with Jesus. And and, and the wisdom, the, the Holy Spirit was actually the source of, of Stephen's great wisdom. So you know, the Lord is through His greatness has put a whole lot on Stephen. And in the next picture, and while the, and while the despicable lies were being spewed at, at, at Stephen, Stephen remained calm. And the, the scriptures say, And gazing at him, all who sat in the council saw that his face was like that of an angel. Even when they were you know, accusing him and spewing out all these lies, just with, with, with no disgrace in their heart. They didn't mind, you know, just through God's greatness, you know, Stephen was able to stand firm. While these people, you know, they didn't mind, you know, just, just like being like me. Come on, I have a conscience, so I couldn't do this. But it would be like me come on and just start telling all kind of lies about you. Saying you were going in room, room stealing, and you weren't eating your stuff. And, you know, these people, they didn't mind that. They didn't have any kind of heart, compassion in their heart. And they must not have had any kind of conscience just to stand there and deliberately, you know, just bring false witness against their people. Just... It's just so unbelievable how they could be. But God's greatness, He kept Stephen firm, you know, the whole time. He gave him that strength, that physical strength, that emotional strength, not to crumble, not to panic when these people come up against him with lies. He said, Stephen's face just shone like an angel when all, you know, all these wrong, wrong, wrongdoings was being thrown at. He stood firm in his faith. And Stephen, you know, he was allowed to make his defense, but he probably knew, you know, that he wasn't, when, they, when, they, when he went before these councils, he knew that he wasn't going to get out of there alive. And so, you know, he didn't hold anything back on these people. And, and you know, he told them, um, you know, about, the, about Jesus and the Word of God. It, it just, you know, made them angry. He stood by his defense in a, a kind, respectful, polite way, but it didn't make any difference to those hypocrites. Because it says, um, every word that, that, that Stephen spoke was true, which of course only made his accusers, who were only self-righteous hypocrites, made it, that made Stephen, what he said made, made them hate him even more. And the Bible says his words of truth turned him into a pack of petty thieves, into a raging lynch mob. <laughs> See if I read it right. His words of truth turned him from a pack of petty thieves into a raging lynch mob. So, that, so the, the scriptures are saying they were already just petty thieves, and then they're just going to turn them like to just, just a lynch mob, where they just didn't care, they just wanted to do away with Stephen. 
So Stephen was dragged outside the city where they began stoning him. And to keep their clothes from being splattered with Stephen's blood during the murder, they laid down their garments at the feet of a young man named Saul. And Acts 7, verse 58 says, To which Saul, later known as Paul, confessed as written in the opening paragraph, Stephen remained strong. And this is what the scriptures say about Stephen. All this that went on with him, all the lies, the mob coming after him, after them stoning. Paul says that Stephen remained strong. He remained strong and true to the very end. He remained true to his faith. He didn't waver. He didn't tell him to, you know, don't do this, don't let me go. He didn't do that. He remained true to the very end. And his faith never wavered. And as they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And he knelt down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. Now I would think that was a man filled with God's greatness, especially all he went through. You know, look and say, Lord Jesus, forgive them of this sin. Because they don't know what they're doing. And they really didn't. We know that they really didn't know what they're doing. But that took a, a strong man filled with God's greatness to be able to, you know, to stand firm for his faith and in the very end, right before he died, ask the Lord to forgive to forgive that bunch. That, that's, that's a, you know, what I would say, that's a good person, and a, a man filled with God's greatness. And Stephen's last words, there again, was to ask God that his murders be forgiven, including them, Saul, the Pharisee, later known as Paul, who after his later conversion became known, of course, as Apostle Paul, and went on to become one of the greatest Christians that ever lived, a man who wrote a large part of the New Testament until he too, me and Paul, was martyred for preaching the very same truth that Stephen was martyred for. So Paul was standing out there holding him coats. Well, I'm going to take everybody's coat in. Let me have your coat. Let me keep your coat because you want to stone Stephen. I'll, I'll take your coat. Let me hold y'all's coats. No one want to get dirty while y'all stand here and commit a murder. All because of the name of Jesus. And then Paul, the code holder, he gets his conversion down when he way to Damascus, on that road to Damascus. He saw that bright light when the Lord spoke to him. And then Paul got his conversion. And through God's greatness, you know, Paul got that conversion. And he went on to be very faithful in faith. And, and like I said, you know, one of the uh, stronger Christian leaders of that time. And uh, Paul was one, was one of my favorites in the Bible. Do y'all have any questions on Stephen? Anybody got any questions? It was like, you know, not a lot in there by him, but that was a good study on, on Stephen. He was really good. I thought if y'all would like that. That was 